Hey guys, it's Nessa and you're watching Project Girl Boss, the channel to watch for business tips, social media strategies, and how to get the life you want by becoming your own boss. In today's video, we're talking social media, specifically Instagram, and how I was able to grow the Project Girl Boss account by over 1,000 followers in one day. You want to know how I did it? Keep on watching. Now, if you would like to follow me on Instagram, I'm going to go ahead and leave my handle in this video. I'd really appreciate it if you would go and give me a follow. I'm going to be posting a ton of content in there as well. So how do you make money on Instagram? Sponsored posts and sponsored stories. Basically, brand deals with companies. Now, in order for a company to offer you a brand deal, you have to have a following. You have to be considered an influencer. Instagram doesn't consider you an influencer until you reach a thousand followers. So right away, I knew that that was going to be my first milestone. I needed 1000 followers and I wanted them quickly. If you're here, you have probably been down the same road I have, which is you've been trying to grow your Instagram account and you are stuck in a plateau. Maybe you're not even at 100 followers, or maybe you're stuck at 300 followers, which is where I was. I was stuck at 300 followers after having followed all the strategies that you see on videos and blogs about, um, you know, posting relevant hashtags and uh, commenting on other people's post and following other people and doing all the things that they recommend and yes all those things helped but what i discovered were two simple strategies that people are using to basically trick the algorithm into working for them and this is how i was able to do it so before we get to the main strategy that i want to tell you about and that's the one where you're going to grow your followers to over a thousand let's talk a little bit about the other strategies that everybody always suggests number one is content is king now what this means is if you have an instagram account that you want to monetize and it's about makeup and beauty you don't want to be posting pictures about your cats there no matter how cute they are because that's just not your niche you know the same thing if you have a fashion account or a food account leave the other stuff for your personal account okay, number two is post relevant captions as well a caption that goes with the pictures. Now, a lot of strategies differ on whether you should go for a longer caption versus a shorter caption. I myself have been leaning towards the longer captions, but sometimes I'll mix them up. Tip number three, hashtags. You know you have to use relevant hashtags, but you don't wanna use hashtags that are super popular. Uh, so for example, going back to the makeup account you don't want to just use hashtag makeup because if you're just starting out your picture is going to get lost in the sea of the millions of other users using that hashtag so you want to use hashtags that have between 50,000 to 300,000 400,000 posts or so you don't want to use anything that has less than a thousand either because then you don't have enough eyes on your picture different videos different blog posts um, differ on the amount of hashtags that you should use so Instagram lets you use 30 hashtags and some people recommend use all 30s other people say don't use them all because then you look spammy use somewhere between 15 to 20 hashtags when you're just starting out. I'm gonna leave that up to you. I have seen that it it really hasn't made any difference in my posts, specifically if I post 30 hashtags or 20 hashtags. The final tip that everybody always gives you is engage with other accounts. So you wanna be liking other people's posts, commenting on other people's posts, visiting their profiles because a lot of times they'll return the favor. And then a very kind of controversial strategy that is out there is the follow for follow strategy. This is different than follow to unfollow. 
basically you want to follow people so that they follow you but you don't want to wait for them to follow you and then unfollow them because that's just rude and it's discouraging it's discouraging when you see you've gained 10 followers and then within three days you see that you've lost like seven of them if you're doing that please don't absolutely if you follow 10 people and then those people just never follow you back then yeah go back unfollow them but don't wait for them to follow you just so that you can unfollow them doing those steps i was able to grow my following by 300 followers the problem was it took forever so i went back to the research table and people said okay you know what you need to be posting more stories and i did i started doing that i started posting instagram stories and i noticed that um my stories get a lot more views but it didn't necessarily translate into more followers so right now on the screen i'm going to show you what my account look like and this is when i was stuck at about this is when i was stuck at about 300 to 400 followers and then you can see here after i implemented that strategy how that spikes to over a thousand followers in one day how did i do it it's called an instagram loop now if you go to instagram and type follow loop follow loop into the search you will see all these different loop accounts and the way these loop accounts work is you have the main account which is the loop account and they say hey do you want to gain followers if so follow these instructions and the instructions usually are you know follow the loop account like this picture uh tag three friends and comment something along the lines of yes i want to gain followers or i'm ready to gain or let's gain or or, or something along those lines and then what you have to do is you have to go to the loop account and follow everybody that they are following so they'll usually be following about a hundred to two hundred people or so i've never come across a loop account that follows more than 250 so you go and you follow everybody that they're following and then just like that you'll start receiving followers because all these other people have agreed to do the follow loop and so they'll follow you back now the idea is that you're gonna have these followers and they're not going to unfollow. It, it's a commitment that you make that, okay, I'll follow you and I won't unfollow you. And so what happens is you start getting these, this boost in followers, but what this does is it also boosts up the algorithm because all of a sudden the algorithm thinks, hey, this account is getting traction. Maybe I should feature it more. And it'll start pushing your your photos so the algorithm starts working for you because it sees all this activity going on in your account now some of these people will go back and unfollow you it's not not everybody is a hundred percent committed and that's fine because you know what you can go at that point you can go and unfollow them as well. But a lot of times the loop accounts will have rules that say, hey, um, if you unfollow, then you will be blocked from participating in the loop. There's different ways you can participate in these loops. So my favorite way is as a commenter, which is, uh, which is what I just explained, where you like the picture and then you comment under it saying yes i want to gain followers and you follow everybody that they're following and then the followers will start rolling in now these loop accounts they also have um like sign up process for the loops a sign up is when they then follow you so the loop account will follow you to make sure that everybody that signs up for the loop and everybody that comments on the loop post will follow you now in order to be 
in order to sign up, you have to post the loop post. This can be tricky because then you have to post a picture or an image that may not necessarily go with your theme, you know? So what you basically do is they have the rules where they say everybody will post the loop photo at this time and you will post this exact caption. So they'll give you the photo, they'll give you the caption, you post it at the agreed time with the agreed tags, and then you make sure that you're following everybody that the loop post is following. And the followers will come in because see, here's the thing. This is what I noticed. Like, yes, I followed about 200 and something people, but I gained a heck of a lot more. So yes, all those 200 and something, they followed me back. But because the algorithm saw this, it pushed my account and it brought more people in. And so I gained some organic followers that way. Now the other, and this is how those loop accounts are also making money, is they have what they call ghost spots. So ghost spot is where you basically pay the loop account. I don't know if it's like $20, $15, I don't know. I've never opted for a ghost account. I just, I just don't think that I would want to. But basically what the ghost accounts are, is I guess you could call them sponsors of the post is another way of looking at them because basically the ghost accounts do not have to follow you back. So they will be among the people that the loop account is following, but they're not required to follow everybody back because remember you want to keep a ratio of followers to following, but you don't want to get into that when you're just starting out. Like you can figure that out later. Right now when you're starting out, let's just focus on getting those 1,000 followers. But yeah, these ghost, ghost accounts, they're called ghost accounts for that reason, is they're not required to follow you back. So the loop account will follow you so that everybody else will also follow you. They usually have an admin as well that you need to follow. The admin is not required to follow you back. And then the ghost accounts are not required to follow you back. Everybody else has to follow you back. And so I noticed, I began, once I participated in that, um, in one of these loop accounts and I, and I gained over a thousand followers, I started noticing the admins on other loops, you know, cause you have different loops. You have like travel loops, you have like beauty loops, you have like lifestyle loops, like overall loops, like girl boss loops, you have loops for everything. Uh, but I began noticing the admins on these loops and these admins have thousands and thousands of followers. And these loop pages post, some of them every day. Some of them have uh, loops, you know, every other day. But just imagine if you have different people participating in these loops, all these people are following these admins. These admins are not required to follow anybody back. Neither are these ghost accounts. So they're basically growing their account and it appears to be organic because they're not following anybody back, but everybody's following them. So they have 10,000 followers, 12,000 followers. And if you unfollow the admin or the loop account, then you're blocked from participating in future loops. And then you, who knows, they might tell the followers, hey, unfollow this account or something, and then you'll start losing followers. I mean, I don't know if, if that would happen because I haven't tested that theory. The admins, of course, are posting pictures related to their niche and their theme, and it's all, you know, themed and pretty and nice. And they have all these followers and they have all these engagements, which I'll get to in a second. And really their following was not necessarily organic. It's because of these loops. That's how they're doing it. The thing is they're admins, so they don't have to follow you back. You as a commenter or as a poster, what they call poster, cause you have to post the caption, you have to post the image and the caption. 
you have to follow everybody back so everybody can kind of see like, oh, okay, this is how you're doing it. This is how you're gaining followers. But you do get organic followers because the algorithm pushes you as it sees the, the, the activity. The second strategy is engagement. Now the loops will also have, you know, likes for likes. They'll be like, hey, like 10, pay, like 10 images, 10 likes for 10 likes. And so the people in the within the loop, they'll go in and they'll like your post and they'll comment. They have comment for comments. So you can get engagement that way. But I have found that one the, the one that works the best is Facebook, Instagram engagement groups. This is where I see, you know, because the way these groups work is they have admins and they have moderators. And Everybody that wants to join the group has to follow the admin, has to follow the moderators. They don't have to follow you back. So again, we're seeing these admin accounts or these moderator accounts with 10,000 followers, 15,000 followers. And it's not necessarily because their content is amazing or even because they're landing on the Explorer page. I mean, eventually, yes, they do land on the Explorer page, but what gets them there is the group because the engagement groups on Facebook, uh, they have something similar to the loops, but it's more behind the scenes where you don't have to post anything and you don't have to comment anything on Instagram. Basically what you do is you take your image that you posted and um, on the groups, they call them threads. So let's say they have a likes thread that they're running. So what that means is you'll post your the link to the image that you wanna get likes for on the comment section of the likes thread. And everybody that participates in the thread has to go in and like your picture, usually within a set, within a set time frame. And the first few comments or the first few posts are usually the admins and the moderators pictures, you know? So everybody else that participates has to go in and like this, these images. So for example, one of the engagement groups that I have found has over 12,000 members, you know, every single member there has to follow the admin, has to follow the moderator. So just by that group alone, they have 12,000 members. And then every time there's any kind of thread going on, their pictures are posted, so their pictures are guaranteed engagement. And once they're guaranteed engagement, Instagram begins pumping it up. So what I found that worked really, really well was timing the thread. So for example, I would try to post a picture right when the thread went up. So say there's a thread, a likes thread that's gonna be posted. And the thing is they don't always tell you, like some groups will tell you, they'll say, hey, we'll have likes thread coming up in 10 minutes. Or some groups have a set time where they're like, we have likes thread going up at this time, a comments thread going up at this time, a follow thread going up at this time, uh, other groups just do it randomly, so you just kind of have to um, watch. But basically what I would do is, if I would see a thread going up, I'd go like, okay, I'm gonna go post my picture on Instagram. And right when I hit post, I would go paste that on the comments thread. And so within the first 30 minutes of posting that picture, it would be receiving all these likes. If it was a likes thread, it would be receiving likes, you know, like, 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 like. And that tells the algorithm, hey, this picture is getting a ton of likes and it was just posted. It must be important. It must be relevant. And it'll start pushing me in the hashtags that I've used. And I've landed on the Explorer page a couple of times just by doing that. Now they also have comments thread, you know, where you can then go back and say, okay, now I want to get comments on this picture, not just likes. So you'll start getting the likes and the comments. 
and your picture will start getting, uh, and the algorithm will start pushing your picture even more. Now I do have to warn you though, that this may get you in trouble with Instagram. Now the groups have a way around this where they say, you have to be very specific about the link that you post so that you don't get in trouble with Instagram. This isn't something that I would do every day. So I don't do loops every day, although some people do. And I've seen people, uh, like I saw one account go from 100 followers. They now have over 3,000 followers. And it's because they've been participating on loops back to back. Uh, and I know because I've seen them post the, you know, the, the picture and now they have over 3000 followers. Same thing with the thread. Sometimes I go in and one thing that I noticed, and, and it was something that, uh, I, I didn't know how to feel is that, and this was mostly coming from the admins and I may get in trouble for saying this, but I mean, I'm not going to name names, but you know, a lot of times you have an admin uh, that'll participate in the likes thread and it'll be the same picture for like a week. So all of a sudden this one picture was receiving, had like 2000 likes, but it's like, well, of course it has 2000 likes. You've been posting the same picture in the likes thread for the past week. And everybody that's participating is liking this picture over and over and over again. And you're an admin, so you're not required to follow back or go like my picture. So Instagram doesn't see that as, oh, this is spammy or anything like that. And I've also seen um, some of them do this for sponsored posts and they'll put it in the threads. They'll say like, hey, everybody, this is a sponsored picture. Please give it a lot of love. Do I think that that's necessarily fair? No, I'm not so much in favor of that because I think that is a little bit uh, kind of, I think that's a little bit sneaky for the brand you know because it's not really like oh yes all these people like your the picture because it's the brand it's like well yeah all these people are liking the picture because they have to like the picture i don't know how it translates in terms of revenue for the brand but hey they're getting their coin that's for them the way that i would suggest you do it is very sporadically you know so i joined one loop gained over a thousand followers. Then I waited like three weeks. I did another. In those two weeks, I was gaining followers. It was like, oh, I gained seven, I gained 10 more. So I started getting like organic traffic. If I wanted to give myself another boost, then I thought, okay, let me try another little loop here and there. And I tried it. And the same thing for the engagement because you don't want to get banned from liking pictures on Instagram or banned from following too many accounts. But if you do those two things, you will get your first 1000 followers. And then after that, I would say, start doing the other strategies, which is what I want to do. You know, it's like, okay, I have the thousand followers now. So now let me focus on really niching down the hashtags, really working on the captions. Now let me focus on really getting the pictures right because now I'm really getting the organic traffic. So basically what you want to do is you want to create a snowball effect and you want to get the algorithm to work for you. And you don't want to stop doing the other things. So you, you want to keep posting the Instagram stories. You want to keep posting pictures with relevant hashtags and relevant captions. You want to keep Keep engaging with other accounts but if you want that boost and you want to get the algorithm to give you a little bit of a leg up then try these try the loops try the engagement groups and do the things where you post at just the right time to boost your engagement and watch the snowball work for you and you know what? Don't feel bad about it because a lot of people are doing this. I've seen it with these admins. This is how this is how they're getting their engagement. The admins, they don't have to follow anybody back and they're getting all these followers and they're getting all these likes and they're getting all these comments. And as a result of that, they're getting all these brand deals and they're getting all these opportunities. This is one of the best ways that I found to grow your following by a thousand but you don't want to get stuck doing just that because you don't want your followers afterwards to see that all you're doing is posting 
loop posts, you know, you don't want that. So get the little boost that you need, get the snowball rolling, but then apply the other strategies that do apply. They work, they work, but sometimes you just need a little leg up. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Once again, follow me on Instagram because I'm constantly posting there. I'm asking questions there a lot of times. You can leave uh, video suggestions. You can leave video suggestions as well. I also have a Twitter account that I'm planning on also growing. I kind of have that a little bit neglected, but I'm going to start looking into it subscribe to this channel if you haven't and you know leave me a comment down below if you have been struggling to grow your instagram account and if you tried this technique tell me how many followers you were able to get until next time bye